Let's go for a ride! You are watching Psycho Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Hey guys, I'm going to do a little test ride and review on a new Harley Breakout. I just want to give you some basic specs on this bike. Uh, 1690cc air-cooled twin engine. It has a 6-speed transmission, 68 horsepower at 5k RPM, 87 foot-pounds of torque at 3k RPM, belt-driven, has standard ABS brakes, has a 5-gallon tank, averages 37 miles per gallon, has an 18-inch 240 rear tire, 26-inch seat height, and 710 pounds wet. Now let's take a little ride to the Harley-Davidson dealership. We are at the Harley dealership. Let's see if they got any cool bikes sitting out here. Cool. This little bike looks nice here. See what they want. Are you going to go up to a Harley? What's that? Oh, I love all the bikes. <laughs> I was thinking about getting a breakout. We have one in there. You want to go see it? Uh, no, I'm just stopping by. I thought I'd just take a look at the bikes there. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've got a lot more inside. We have a really cool uh, metal flake one in there. Oh, okay. on the showroom floor. All right, cool. I'll have to, uh, I don't know, I'll go step in there real quick okay. and check it out. I got my cameras on my helmet, so I just... <laughs> doing some long distance riding. What's that? Looks like you're doing long distance riding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do on, uh, sorry, I got earplugs in my ear, so. Break up over here. This is it. Nice. That's beautiful. Yeah, this bike's modeled after, like, a hot rod car, kind of. You know, it's slimmer in the front, but it's fat in the back. It's got the 240 wheel. Um, yeah, it's definitely slammed to the ground. Everything here is compressed. Um, it has the closest odometer to the gas tank, so everything is uh, compressed. It's a soft tail model, so the springs are a little bit different. Um, the shocks are actually horizontal. Mm -hmm. than quite cute. They are on a normal bike. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's got the 103 motor, six speed transmission, all that good stuff. So, what do you think? I love it. How much? How much? Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> How much? You know, I'm not a numbers girl. Um, I can give you the information on it. If you got five minutes, I can give you the information. We can take this for a ride today. I mean, you're dressed up ready to ride. If you want to do that, would you be interested? Yeah. Okay, well, let's do that. All right. This thing is slow as hell compared to my bike, man. <laughs> it's comfortable as hell, though. Clutch is easy. Pull in like my CBR 1000 RR. And uh, the seat is really comfortable, man. This bike is really comfortable. It's really laid back. But slow as hell. It's a beautiful bike, though, man. This bike feels actually pretty lightweight, man. It doesn't feel heavy. I mean, obviously not as, uh, you know, it's lower center of gravity, you know. Much lower to the ground. It's good for short people. I'm not even turning now. I gotta figure out what. God, this thing is slow as hell, man. It's got good torque, though. Shifting is pretty easy on the bike. Just doesn't have the pull like my bike at all, man. Serious. But shit, I can sit here and ride on this thing for a week, man. <laughs> It is really comfortable. Feels like I'm sitting in an easy chair. 
<laughs> oh shit now we'll see how it turns here on this corner ah, turning's not bad smooth you can feel vibration on the bike it's not smooth as butter like my CBRs Yeah, you can feel vibration in the pegs and the handlebars. I'm about to pass this car, man. I want to see what this... Get some speed on this thing, man. It's nothing like my CBR at all, man. It's like night and day. But obviously, these are two different bikes. Okay, off the line. Ah, oh, shit. The gearing is really short. Damn. I'm trying to figure out where the hell is the turn signals. How do you cancel? God, this thing, you gotta, you definitely gotta use all the gears on this bike, guys. You know, when you have the gas going, that's when you feel the vibration. Let off the gas, smooth as butter. Let on the gas, feel the classic Harley Davidson vibration. Yeah, but man, I, these, this is a nice little cruiser bike out here on these long country roads I could see myself traveling across the country on this bike man the only thing I'd be concerned with is like a car pulled out I can't really you know you can't get out of harm's way quickly you know flick the bike like you can with the sport bikes because the power on this is just oh man it's just so weak compared to my CBR 600RR and my uh, my 1000 definitely have to put an aftermarket exhaust on this bike I don't hear it I don't hear that classic Harley Davidson sound I'm trying to figure out how in the hell what oh it's over here <laughs> That's cool. It's got the right turn signal on the right hand side and the left hand turn signal on the left hand side. God. Tons of vibration. Definitely. But not bad. Not too bad. I can see myself cruising across the country on this bike. It wouldn't be too bad. Man, I'm going to have to start scheduling some more test rides. But as far as braking, uh, braking, feel, look at that. Braking is really weak compared to my bike, my uh, CBRs. So yeah, as far as a safety concern, man, braking and power is just uh, just not up to par compared to my CBRs. But that's that's a cruiser for you. Kind of expensive for what you get, you know. You're getting pretty. You're getting a, a beautiful bike. Um, you're getting a classic Harley Davidson sound. But uh, really, these bikes are overpriced, in my opinion. Way overpriced, man. I wonder if these are self-canceling turn signals. Yeah, self-canceling turn signals, guys. That's perfect for Cycle Cruiser. <laughs> I need it, man. I wish I had that on my bike. All right.
bike is it's nice and smooth comfortable riding position but oh my god it's so much slower than my bike <laughs> the power yeah I know it's a cruiser though but this is the first time I rode a cruiser though so you have to understand right yeah oh yeah huh? oh you can mm -hmm. oh okay. Seven horse without any problem. Wow. Yeah, it's a good looking bike, comfortable. Uh, braking power is not as strong as my bike, but uh, well, I'm getting this as a, I'm, I'm going to buy, probably buy this obviously as a second bike because I like the best of both worlds. But uh, has ABS. Has your bike got ABS on it? No. That's where you're feeling the difference. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is. This is designed that if you get into trouble, you could steer out of it. Uh -huh. the wheels don't lock up. The brake and lock, you know, and, and unlock and unlock. Oh yeah, I'm familiar. I had it on the 250 that I had, but yeah. I chose not to get on this bike because I didn't want the extra weight. It put like an extra 30 pounds on that bike, so. This, yeah. No extra weight here at all. Yeah, this bike actually doesn't. It doesn't feel. I was expecting it to feel real heavy, uh, but actually, it feels pretty. It rides light. Yeah. yeah. So how much, what, what, a ballpark figure, what do these run about, what, 20, 18, 20, 25? Range, yeah, 18, uh -huh. 20, somewhere in that range. Like I said, if you want it, if you want a 100 horsepower motor out of it, it's about 4,000 more, and it'll be 107 horse and 102 foot pound of torque. It'll literally scoot right off from under you. Wow. So what do you guys do to it to uh, add the extra power? Put a stage four kit in it. Oh, okay. It heads apart. Uh, they're ported. CNC ported heads, mm -hmm. different pistons, mm -hmm. different rings, different throttle body, um, higher compression, different cams. And okay. It, it'll jump right up. I got one sitting on the floor that's 107 horse right now. Wow. The difference. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but it's uh, just uh. It weighs about 300 pounds less than that one does. Oh, okay. With that bike in there, you could pull the front wheel if you want. Wow. Yeah, beautiful bike. I love the style on this bike. Yeah. Uh, you're looking for just all out shit and get and you should be looking at a v-rod yeah oh no that's what i had that bike for yeah. <laughs> like i said i have two bikes i have a 600 uh cbr 600 double r and i have this bike i just bought uh not too long ago okay. that's a 2012 cbr 1000 double r but uh up, relax enjoy ride look at the country yeah that's exactly that's what right. that's exactly that's what i was going to sell my 600 and uh looking to get one of these so Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. We've got some options on financing now they may not have in the spring. Oh, I pay cash. Okay. I pay cash for my bikes. I don't... I don't. So what do you think, guys? Harley Breakout. Have them put the Stage 3 kit on it and make it faster. It looks sick. Weak as hell as far as power. Very comfortable for those long country cruises. And uh, I don't know if I'd get the metal flake though. I like the black. Do you want me to take a picture of you on it? I can send it to you. What's that? <laughs> a picture of you on it. <laughs> this is my card. I wrote tomorrow's time and date. So uh, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Before I get into the pros and cons of the Harley Breakout, I just want to let you know I'm fully aware that cruisers and sport bikes are two totally different animals and you can't compare them, but I am going to give the pros and cons on this bike coming from a sport bike. I haven't ridden a standard bike since I was a teenager, okay? So keep that in mind. Don't get butt hurt. You know, I love cruisers. I love all motorcycles, but these are just my feelings on this particular bike that I've ridden on this particular day. Okay, the pros... First off, the Harley Breakout looks sick. I love the dragster look. Awesome. Everything about it, I love the looks of it, okay? But like I said, once you throw a leg over a bike, it's all about the riding experience, okay? This bike has excellent build quality. It has a comfortable riding position. It's got the hands-free key fob with security. It's got the suspension is great for street riding. It rides lighter than it weighs. The vibes actually are not bad and actually feel kind of therapeutic. It has a classic Harley sound. It's got decent torque and it comes with a two-year warranty. Okay, now for the cons, which actually the pros outweigh the cons here on my list. But the cons are much more potent than the pros. First, let's start with the price. We're talking $20,000 for this bike, guys. 
in my opinion, 50% overpriced. I wouldn't pay any more than $10,000 for this bike, especially with the performance that you get with this bike, which has really sucky passing power. It's just underpowered for me. And to spend $4,000 on a Stage 3 kit to add 300 pounds to the bike just to get a little more oomph out of the bike, not worth it in my opinion. And this bike has weak brakes, although it is a cruiser. And I know cruisers don't have brakes like sport bikes, okay? But I love the brakes on sport bikes much better. And it, it actually it just doesn't feel safe to me out on the streets, okay? They may not be bad for you guys to ride cruisers, but for me coming from a sport bike, it's bad. Uh, the pegs scrape on turns. I don't like the speedo. I couldn't even really tell how fast I was going because the, the gauge is just has such tiny numbers and I don't like the layout of it at all. Uh, the short gearing, I don't really care for that much, but that's a cruiser for you. Then again, like I said, you know, like you say, you can't compare it to a sport bike, but I love the taller gearing with the sport bikes. So would I get this bike? Do I want this bike? No. I'd rather have this bike. The 2015 Suzuki Boulevard M109R Boss. Only $14.99, much faster and weighs about the same and looks just as good, if not better. But I'll have to do a test ride to see if I actually like this bike. But hey guys, thanks for watching this review. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.